this uh, circulation is still very powerful in this thunderstorm. But unfortunately, with this very strong uh, signature on radar, this is a, a very a compelling radar signature. Jay, it's Lanny. I've got a monster, monster wedge tornado. I'm about four to five miles south of Kingsburg. You really should think about heading down to your shelters. Uh, keep an eye on this thunderstorm as it approaches you. It's a 1.7 mile wide tornado and the town itself is about two miles wide. Uh, so it was really quite complete in the destruction. And while that was a terrible tragedy, the amazing part of it was that the notification that we received from the weather service enabled people to seek shelter. And uh, while the loss of life, which was about a dozen people, was significant, it was um, far less than had it been in the middle of the night, they anticipated at least 300 people would have died. But the town in rural Kansas is certainly not thought of as a progressive environmental demographic. They were starting with a brand new slate, but that's also where we saw a tremendous opportunity that if this town would embrace um, environmentalism in a way that they framed it and were comfortable with it, it would be a significant uh, win for the environmental movement as a whole. That, you know, politically there's half the country identifies themselves as conservative. Political demographic has, has been apathetic toward the environment, if not downright hostile. So initially it was about talking to people about the wisdom of rebuilding this community as green and in terms that they understood and knew. As is often the case, ranchers and farmers are, by their very nature, environmentalists. They have to be. So it was helping them understand that this wasn't a political agenda. It was about common sense. And in a lot of ways, it was doing what they had already done, or certainly their ancestors, who pioneered and homesteaded out here, had done. Uh, whether it's building their homes and buildings with a solar orientation, uh, or conserving water, um, recycling. You know, farmers and ranchers are renowned for not wasting. So why not seize the opportunity that was inherent in rebuilding as a model green community? And by and large, the only significant roadblock was the um, previous politicization of the movement. And so it was, for us, it was just depoliticizing it, and then it was smooth sailing, and people are very enthused about it, and they've taken real ownership of it. It's not a foreign concept to them. It's one they're literally taking a lead on. Right after the tornado, we didn't really know what we would do, and uh, the community decided to go with the green effort from the name Greensburg and try to build on that and um, it really wasn't something we were interested in or knew anything about. And so when we started to think about building, we realized how much money we could save so that we could build a better house and maybe have a little more for our payment if we did go green. In the end result, our home should cost a dollar a day to heat and cool. We've just uh, not had an awareness of the scarcity of natural resources, and that's how we've been building the last several decades. So now there is this consciousness, and everybody here is having to rebuild. So again, just start from the beginning. Look at it with beginner's eyes. There is no better investment today in the world than conservation. Uh, and, and fuel prices and water prices and all these natural resources are only going to go up. So that return on investment is only going to get greater. So it's a pretty compelling argument to make to people. 
Any system and sustainability we're interested in integrating into the community. So that will be permeable concrete, uh, rainwater uh, reuse systems for homes, for businesses, for the town as a whole. All of these are being considered. Power generation, we're looking at 100% renewable energy 100% of the time. Looking at wind turbines, community wind system. Food is an essential element of a, a sustainable community and knowing your neighbors who grow uh, or farm is a great plus and we're trying to bring that back through a, a vibrant farmers market and community gardens and um, awareness of folks here about the importance of raising food for their neighbors. Again, with fuel costs being what they are, it's a real incentive um, and, and local folks can be much more competitive than they've been in the past in providing meats and um, produce um, locally. So we're encouraging folks to do that and I think you're gonna see a lot more of that. What this community has to teach the world, and we think the reason that, the, that what's going on here has really struck a chord is that the rebuilding is all about community. It's about a community that came together in, in extreme adversity and helped build back better and stronger and that's that's character that's a value that um, rural communities often hold is pulling together and, and supporting one another through adversity that's a natural that's a nature-based strength that people have in a lot of cases have lost touch with you talk about you know building porches and building systems that reinforce that interaction amongst people uh, walking trails, all of that will be integrated into this new community. I hope to see the green make a growth for the community that we haven't had before and I can foresee people coming from all over the United States perhaps just because we will be the greenest community and, and it'll either go or it won't go but I think if it goes it could be something really great for the United States. I feel like I didn't know very much about the green movement and I've learned so much this year and I want to learn more. It's just fascinating. It takes a forward thinking person to stay here and tough it out and hopefully the future generations will learn something from us as to how to go about it. Maybe they can do it better, but at least we're making a big step forward. And I think we're doing everything we can to see that the future generations have something to gain from what we stumbled over along the way.